I'm now joined by the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion owner, the captain, Roger Penske. Now, Roger, it has been a phenomenal year for Team Penske. You have done everything in motorsports. Where do you place this season when you look at the win at the LA Coliseum, the Daytona 500 win, the IndyCar Championship, and then to top things off, the NASCAR Cup Series Championship? Well, Kim, before I start uh, tonight, for all of us, I know we have our thoughts and prayers for the Gibbs family, the loss of their son, Coy. He was a great part of the NASCAR family, and Joe, our families are with you. Real opportunity for us here in 2022, when you think about, uh, you mentioned Joey starting out uh, at the Coliseum, and, uh, and then Cindric winning the Daytona 500, you know, the crown jewel of the series. And of course, Blaney took all the money home, didn't he, at the, at the all-star race. But I really think that, uh, you know, that was the start of a journey. You know, the new car, understanding it, and having the opportunity to really put our people towards it. And as Rick Hendricks has told me many times, and I think of the championship that he's won, it's about your people. We have 400 people back in Mooresville, and that 22 crowds over here. Where are you guys? I want to hear from you tonight. Are you here tonight? All right, that's better. Uh, great job out there. But uh, to think about uh, what they've done, but it takes leadership. And Tim Sindrick, obviously, the president of Team Penske, and uh, Mike Nelson and Travis Geiser. These guys have just been terrific to build this team during 2022. And uh, to think about... Uh, the sponsors that we've had, Auto Trader, certainly AAA. And when you look at that car, to see it going around there at Phoenix lap after lap in the lead was just something special for me. And of course, without these sponsors, under, you can understand how important that is. But my biggest sponsor is my wife. 48 years, I have to thank her tonight for uh, giving me the continued support of where we are. But. Uh, and I couldn't, couldn't say enough about the Ford Motor Company and what they've did for us during this season and where we've been with them now, I think, since for almost 10 years. But uh, tremendous effort. I think someone said it earlier, we got some pretty good engines there at the end. So, guys, that was our secret weapon. But uh, real honor to be here tonight, and thank you for your comments. Well, Paul talked about Joey and his uncanny ability, ability behind the wheel. I want to hear from you, though. As Joey grew through Team Penske, what have you seen in him? Well, he's a leader. Uh, he's a leader on the track and off the track. There's no question about it. And he and Brittany, you know, with the foundation, what they do for everyone, you don't realize that. And I'll tell you a story. Let's go back to 2018, the night before the final race of the championship. Brittany and Joey were giving out turkeys to homeless people in Homestead, that's the kind of guy he is. And I take my hat off, he's taking a leadership position in the team, and obviously we've signed him up for five more years, so we're gonna have to live together with wins and losses. Well, all three drivers at Team Penske made the playoffs this season. It's a unique young group. When you look at your team, how excited are you about the future of Team Penske? How about an average 29 years old, these three drivers, that's pretty good, isn't it? Very good. 820 race experience they have. So we're ready to go, you guys out there. So I'm counting on them next year. But uh, hope we're standing here next year. We can say hello to you again. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Congratulations on an outstanding season and your third NASCAR Cup Series championship.